Okay, one of the key things to track on the project is our progress. It's tracking time through the project. And here are some ways of doing this. We could measure the delays on the individual tasks. We could measure how long it's going to take us to make a, a profit. So we might have produced some sort of payback graph. We can have a look at the timing against the target plans. How many tasks started on schedule? How many tasks finished on schedule? How many tasks started late? What's the percentage of tasks that started late to started on time? They're measures, they're things that we can report on to management indicating how good we are at keeping to the time schedule for the project. How many deliveries from suppliers were on time and how many were late? How many days in total does that lateness represent? How many deliveries have we done on time? Now measuring the progress through tasks uh, is reasonably easy because tasks are either not started, they're in progress, or they're completed. In fact, here's a rough and ready way of reporting your project progress. You say there's 200 tasks, you know, X percent have completed, Y percent are in progress, Z percent have yet to start. Now, the in progress tasks, the way of correctly measuring the progress on them is by asking how much work has been completed and how much work is remaining. Um, an incorrect way would be to ask for a percentage complete. Uh, I would argue that there's only two percentage completes that are ever accurate. That is 0%, I haven't started, and 100%, I have completed it. Otherwise, people will just say, oh, I'm 33% or 50% complete. They're guessing. And when you say to somebody, what percentage are you complete, do you mean through the work or do you mean through the duration? Do remember that we said that the work is different from the duration, and work can be spread differently through the duration. So in some of these work profiles, where we do more work towards the end of the project, 50% through the duration could be 30% through the work, could mean you're on plan. So never ask for a percentage complete unless you're clear what percentage through the work or what percentage through the duration. You have to understand these profiling or work contours. Now, very often on a uh, project Gantt chart, we can mark these um, Gantt bars to show how much they're complete. But the trouble is, if we ask the wrong questions, we're going to get the wrong answers. If I give somebody a two-week task, and after one week, I say, how is it going? They're going to go, yeah, it's fine. Or I say, what percentage are you complete? They're going to go 50% because they know that's what I want to hear. And it's probably not the truth. So what I need to say is, how much work have you booked against this task? And how much work to now complete it? So when somebody says, at the beginning of the project, I estimate 20 hours of work on this task, and that could be spread over a three-week duration. As they're doing the task, I could say, how many hours of work have you booked? They might say 10 hours, and how many hours to complete it? I'm asking them to re-estimate the duration, the, the work content of the total task. They might say 15 hours to complete it. So what they're saying is the total work for this task is now 25 hours. The original estimate, the baseline, was 20 hours. The end of the project in the project review, I can have a look at why that was. If I just say, how is it going, they'll say, OK. If I say, what percentage you complete, they'll go 50%. We need to understand how much work has been done and how much more work to do and will they still finish on time? Will they still finish on time? Of course they will.